You also oh. had the chance of uh, meeting Andrew Tate. Yeah. Recently, you did a podcast with him. Yeah. <laughs> How was that experience? It was pretty interesting. Um, he's a he's a, he's a very interesting guy. Um, so I think when Andrew Tate first came to Dubai, this is when like he was like, and this is by the way, this is right before he got arrested, right? Yeah. Like he did your podcast and then got arrested. I have a tendency like when people record with me, they end up in jail. Shit. I don't like 6 9 was in Dubai. He went to America, got arrested. Same with Tate. Logan Paul was in Dubai. He went and did the Japan thing right after. I don't know. People do bad things after they see it. Like it's just a, a tendency. I don't know why. Just don't be demotivated to, to come on my podcast or videos. Guys, if I disappear tomorrow… <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if tomorrow right, you get arrested for something, it's like, this is like, you know, you know how when Drake bets on a team, they always yeah. lose. Yeah. <laughs> this is the same curse I have, you know. Um, no, he's a, he's a pretty interesting guy. So, met him in Dubai, had lots of mutual friends. And when he first came to Dubai, like, everyone hate, like, girls hated him. I think they still do. Yeah. One I of think them, most girls hate Andrew Tate. Yeah, my sister hated him, you know. As soon as he came, no I was like, boy. oh, by the way, Andrew Tate's coming to Dubai. Um, we might do a podcast. He'll come to the house. She was like, no. I'm like, what do you mean? No. Was your sister not also on the podcast though? She was. But okay. So this is when Andrew Tate first came to Dubai. We ended up doing the podcast two months later because of this. My sister was like, no. Andrew Tate is this. Andrew Tate is that. I'm like, listen. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to like, okay. You hate the guy? Let's do a podcast and tell him everything you hate about him. No problem. If he's a bad guy, just we'll confront him for that, you know? So I ended up meeting him a few times actually. But obviously because my sister didn't like him. I didn't record anything. We went out a few times. With friends and this and that. Eventually, I convinced her. Because she found out he has like a charity for animals. It was like her soft spot. Mm. She was like, okay, fine. You know, maybe he's not as bad as I think. You know how people like have that misconception. So um, yeah, look, he's an interesting guy. He has quite an opinion on things. But I think 90% of the things he says are are just things that everyone's thinking but is too yeah. afraid to say, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's basically so motivational. It just tells you to yeah, do something it's like, big. I mean, look, the guy's spitting facts, you know? He's like yeah. saying work hard. Like, okay, I understand he pisses people off but I think he knows he's doing that. He, like, I remember he said one thing that really stuck in my head. He's like, look, I'm trying to teach people. Now, if I just try and teach people, no one listens. But if I say something to piss you off and continue it with a life lesson, just because I annoyed you, you're going to listen to everything I said. Mm -hmm. I saw this entire interview of Andrew Tate with uh, Pierce Morgan. Yeah. And in that interview, the, he had two interviews. The first one, Pierce Morgan grilled Andrew Tate for his, uh, for his beliefs on certain issues, yeah. women issues, or uh, equal pay, or XYZ, whatever, right? And then uh, Pierce Morgan got so much hate for it. Yeah. He was forced to invite Andrew Tate the second time. In the entire second interview, Pierce Morgan seems like an Andrew Tate fan. Yeah. <laughs> the entire interview. And that actually goes to… And, and by the way, Andrew Tate, the way he handled himself throughout the Pierce Morgan interview was something that all of his haters must watch. Because yeah. they would understand. Because… As much as you hate Andrew Tate, probably Pierce Morgan hated more than you. And he really grilled him or put him in, a, in yeah, multiple I, corners. I think he's, he's, he knows how to talk. The guy's like a genius. Oh my God. And he's he a is. workaholic, by the way. Like, even when I was supposed to do my podcast, like, he was up at like 8 a.m. messaging me. Mm -hmm. Our podcast was planned for like 1 p.m. He ended up coming early because he was like, listen, I'm at a coffee shop. Um, let's just do it earlier because I have things to do. Like, so he's like, a, you know, he's on it. And the crazy mm -hmm. thing is like, I know like at least five, six people like in my mutuals that talk to him. He always responds. He's never like that person. Like I sometimes don't respond to people if I'm on WhatsApp. This guy is just on his phone. Like when we're out with him, like, okay, on podcasts, he's talking. But when you're out, he's always on his phone working. Just always, you know, he's doing something, you know, which is crazy. I think like people are like, how is he? I'm like, look, on the podcast, you see him. In real life, he's working. I don't even like, no one gets to talk to him. He's just mm. like doing something, you know? He's invested into something or something. Exactly. I don't think he likes to just sit around and chit chat. I think unless it's like a very productive thing. So I think that's why he goes on podcasts. You know, this is like work, you know. So he's very productive.